Meanwhile, back here in Brooklyn, no cooking gas for several months to a year for some NYCHA residents in Coney Island. They've placed 311 calls. They've called directly to NYCHA, and they say the problem, well, it just does not get resolved. News 12's Caitlin Ulrich explains to us that the residents, well, they're not taking their grievances to court. Violations, violations, and more violations from the City Housing Preservation and Development Department against NYCHA buildings on Coney Island, all listed in a lawsuit of more than 50 NYCHA residents versus New York City Housing Authority Department of Buildings and HPD. Shame on NYCHA! Shame on NYCHA! Rallying in front of one of the impacted buildings, the plaintiffs in the lawsuit gathered in anticipation of their Monday court date. So it's a first appearance, so most likely what's going to happen is that they're going to ask for an opportunity, put in a written answer, and then I will have to put in a written response to what they're writing. This lawsuit is representing tenants from two developments, a total of seven buildings. Those developments are Surfside Gardens and O'Dwyer Gardens. Look how they left us. You can see the hole in there. One woman who didn't want to give me her name let me inside of our home and showed me her hot plate. She says she used it for the last year while without cooking gas. So I got to run out every day, buy food, lunch, dinner, breakfast, and it's really hard. It's not that easy. The suit was filed in August of this year. Some of the violations mentioned in the suit, aside from the lack of cooking gas, include no water, defective elevators, and dirty common areas. There are hundreds of violations issued by HP. The greatest and most richest city in the world is not providing the most basic needs for their client, their uh, tenants. The residents are seeking credits for the months they paid rent while going without gas. We reached out to NYCHA for comment and were told the association does not comment on pending litigation. In Coney Island, Caitlin Ulrich, News 12.